What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. Gerard Carmichael. Gerard Carmichael. Gerard Carmichael. Jamar Gerard Carmichael is a comedian. Uh, he has a reality show. He had a TV show before as well. Um, Gerard Carmichael does a lot of cringe things. He does a lot of cringe things, and I don't think he's a bad person. I don't think he has malicious intent. I just think the things that he's doing is the result of him being a closeted, a, a closeted gay man for years. And now that he's not closeted anymore, he's just acting, I guess, doing things that, you know, he's trying to show his confidence in the realm of him being gay now. And it's coming off very cringe because it's, I mean, how, do I, how do I say this, man? Um, yeah, like he, he's now, he's, he's, I guess he's just trying to, in the name of being free, he's just doing stuff, right? Because now I believe he's happy that he's finally able to be who he always has has been for years, right? And so Gerard Carmichael went on The Breakfast Club today to confront Charlemagne for giving him donkey of the day about a week ago. Why did Charlemagne give uh, Gerard Carmichael donkey of the day? Well, because Gerard Carmichael told a joke uh, about like a slave play joke. What is a slave play joke? A slave play joke involves a black person. Is it, it slave play jokes uh, and occur or slave play fantasies and stuff occur within interracial relationships where the other per one person is a black male and the other person is mostly a white male, right? And so they create these little fantasies behind, you know, the slave master and the slave. And of course, in this equation, the black person is always going to be the slave. Gerard Carmichael told a joke about his white boyfriend, because Gerard Carmichael has a white boyfriend. He talked about his white boyfriend being such a great reader that he teaches him to read like a slave master would do to his slave. And he started to talk in a cadence that a slave who is illiterate would talk in, right? Speaking in broken English, etc., talking like a slave would talk and trying to sell that as a funny joke. Charlemagne like, yo, that's not funny. That slave play stuff ain't cool. Because a lot of black folks, we look at that shit as weird. You know, because I don't care. Okay, date who you want to date. If you're going to date interracially, okay, do your thing. But engaging in slave play, come on, bro. We ain't got time for no shit like that. Especially when I've heard from other gay people that um, the LGBTQ community has a lot of racism, anti-black racism in it. I've heard that r repeatedly that the LGBTQ community has a lot of anti-black anti racism all within the LGBT community. So when you know that, it's not cool to make them type of jokes. It's not, right? So he came on Charlotte, he came on the Breakfast Club, uh, Gerard Carmichael. He came to, uh, to the Breakfast Club in hopes of controlling the show and guiding the show and the narrative of everything in the direction he wanted it to go in. Charlemagne checked him on that and said, no, we're not doing that, right? He provided pushback. Um, because honestly, a joke about an enslaved African and a white man is not funny in any context. I repeat, a joke about an enslaved African and a white man is not funny in any context. I'm sorry. It's not, you know, and <clears throat> excuse me, people try to act like it is. No, I, I, I can't go for that, especially when the LGBTQ, uh, community, they, identif they identify as a, as a marginalized community. No, we not going to play with another marginalized group in America who've been like have laws, black folks and had all type of crazy laws against us and all type of been we've been enslaved in this country. Enslaved. We ain't playing them type of jokes with our with our ancestors and stuff like that. We not doing that. You can date who you want to date, but we not doing that, right? And so Charlemagne tells him, Gerard Carmichael, it's not a good joke. And then Gerard Carmichael goes, Well that's on you. I've been a comedian for X amount of years. He then goes, Charlemagne says uh, well, no, excuse me, Ger uh, Gerard Carmichael then goes, the audience laughs at my jokes. So Charlemagne says, "If the, you, do you know, he say, uh, what did he say? Do you, basically he wonders if the crowd, if, he says, if the crowd is majority white, are they laughing with you or laughing at you? And Gerard Carmichael said, man, you know, I had a lot of black people at my show support me to, uh, to uh, in amazement or something like that. He's being sarcastic, but he's like, you know, I got a lot of black folks and I got a nice amount of black people at my shows, right? And so, again, I believe Gerard Carmichael is dealing with trauma from being closeted for so many years. And now he just doing stuff just to be doing it. Like the whole sit down with Tyler, the creator. This is, I don't, I don't get this another very cringe thing, cringe thing. You've made a pass at Charlamagne. I mean, Charlamagne. You've made a pass at Tyler the Creator. Not a pass. Well, yeah. You shot. You 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 took a you uh you shot your shot. 
you know, um, you were shooting in his DM. And Tyler, the creator, turned you down. You get on your reality show, right? And you, because the reality show, from what I understand, I don't watch it. It's shot in a different type of way. It looked like it was just like a damn uh, a confessional or something. They were sitting across from each other having a conversation. But he spoke about, hey, you know, I, 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 I told you, you know, about my feelings that I had for you. And, you know, you didn't respond or whatever. And Tyler, the creator, like, yo, he, because Tyler, the creator, is obviously not interested in Gerard Carmichael. Tyler, the creator, probably want to be with somebody white, too. <laughs> let's, be, let's be honest, right? Or somebody lighter skin. I don't know, right? Who knows? But anyway, <laughs> uh, but for him to, like, Tyler, the creator, like, yo, I basically told you I'm not interested in so many words. So why would you try to have this public conversation about like to make, you know, it's like you're trying to make Tyler, the creator look bad for not wanting to be with you or have not being interested in you, which is corny. If the man not interested in you, he not interested in you, bro. Like, come on, dog. You know what I mean? But it's like he's trying. I feel like he was doing that in order to justify why he's with a white man. I'm People might think I'm, I'm, I'm stretching this. They might think I'm just, you know, reaching basically. But. You know, he gets a lot of stuff for being with a white guy or whatever and, and, you know, from other black women and all of that. And I don't know if that was his way of saying, see, the black guy I like, he don't want me, so I'm with a white guy. If he's trying to press the issue and let everybody know, I tried to talk to Tyler, the creator, but Tyler, the creator, didn't want to talk to me. It's like, bro, what are you doing? And again, I believe he's dealing with the trauma from being closeted for so many years, and now his vulnerability is for sale. He's marketing vulnerability you know, from you know, from being closeted for so many years, he's being he's marketed marketing vulnerability, you know, within his sexuality, in his comedy routine, in his reality show, in his public persona, he's doing it. You know, it's getting to the point now where his whole selling point, Gerard Carmichael, I'm speaking of, is focusing more on that he's gay than actually being funny. You know, and I don't like when comedians do that. Some comedians have a shtick, but I don't like even like when white comedians. When they, when they got a black spouse and all the whole content of their comedy show is about them dating interracially. Bro, we want to hear something else. We want to hear something different. And Gerard now is trying to frame this comedy all around him being gay, which I have no problem with. You know, brother, love who you want to love, be with who, who you want to be with. But it's like, he doing stuff that coming off his cringe. First of all, I never thought Gerard Carmichael was funny. Never. People, a lot, a lot of people found him hilarious, obviously, because he had the TV show. But to me, he's Amy Schumer type corny to me. That's just me, right? I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But yeah, man, like, yeah, I, I don't know. He does a lot of cringe things. And I think it's just, he's so happy he's free now. He just out here just doing stuff. Just doing stuff, man. And, and doing stuff that, that that make black folks look bad with the slave play joke. And then trying to put Tyler Creator on front street. I feel like to show, hey, I like black guys. They don't like me. So I'm with the white guy now. Like, bro, they... You want to be with the white dude. You like white men. And all right, do your thing. But I feel like don't try to put Tyler, the creator, on blast. I wish somebody would if I turn somebody down in public and they want to put me on YouTube with some shit of me denying them or turning them down. It's just crazy to me, man. But, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, I just feel like now he's trying to make, because he's happy that he's out and I get it. You know what I mean? You're happy that now you can live freely. I think now he's trying to make everything ar ar around his uh, around his sexuality in the name of vulnerability, but selling it to the public, having his vulnerability for sale is cringe to me. I don't know, man, what y'all think? But the brother ain't funny to me either. That's another thing. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a 